Welcome to the Pizzicato Effect. An existential crisis in lecture and song. To the ancient Greeks, shapes in space, numbers, philosophy, and music were all completely inseparable. It was an insane time. It was sort of like Silicon Valley, actually, except instead of starting like Facebook and Spotify, they were launching startups like The Triangle and things like that. <laughs> So, uh, the, Greek, the Greeks just wanted to sit around being smart. They didn't want to do anything practical like build railroads or make more drachma. They just wanted to hang out talking about ideas. Um, which may be why they're in a little bit of trouble <laughs> right now. Uh, I mean, sure, they bring up close to the rear in, the, in growth and productivity in the Eurozone, and uh, sure, the average retirement age is 27. Uh, <laughs> But they gave us knowledge and uh, feta and math and drama <laughs> and democracy and Greek salad and beautiful people and baklava and John Stamos. So I think we can cut them a little bit of slack for not being German enough, don't you guys? Um, actually, I heard this interesting story. The, uh, they were building a new airport outside of Athens. And so they hired a German company to build the airport. And the Greeks were going to build the road. And the Germans finished the airport two years early, and the Greeks finished the road three years late. <laughs> so for five years, there was an airport you could only get to by plane. <laughs> uh, which interestingly, defeats the purpose. Uh, so anyway, back to ancient Greece. Uh, this was a time when scientists, philosophers, mathematicians, and even surgeons were just self-selected individuals who happened to be curious about the subject at hand. Uh, and they all hung out, they had this kind of cult, and cult headquarters was the Agora. And this is where the philoso mathma surgeon scientists uh, would hang out arguing, playing music, LARPing, uh, <laughs> publishing zines, streaking. Uh, it was kind of like Oberlin meets the Celebrity Center, basically. Um, and they made an insane number of advancements, despite the fact that they were using letters instead of numbers. So calculators were like this wide. And they always had to have the caps locked down. And it always seemed like you were yelling at people. Uh, and it, it was very confusing when Roman numerals would accidentally spell words. Like you'd go in the market, and they'd be like, uh, yes, sir, would you like some olives? Yes, give me a mix. And they would give you a 1,009 olives. <laughs> 